Hi, my name is Chris Smithy. I'm a senior systems engineer here at Landcope. In this example, we're going to run through the use of StealthWatch's Flow Replicator appliance. While we originally developed this tool for flow replication throughout the network, we see many customers using it to replicate syslog and SNMP data to reduce the network overhead of these applications on the network. We'll start today's demo of the Flow Replicator with a quick review of the technology itself and then dive in to see how it's configured. As mentioned earlier, the Flow Replicator does more than just replicate NetFlow. Any simplex or unidirectional UDP connection can be replicated out to multiple destinations. NetFlow, SFlow, IPFix, SNMP traps, syslog, we've even seen it used for DNS multicasting. There are a few ways to implement the Flow Replicator in your network. The simplest method is to send the UDP directly to our Flow Replicator and then have it forwarded to its end destinations. This is by far the most common implementation. Another methodology would be to span one of the existing network ports carrying the UDP data to its existing destination. In this instance, the span is connected into our Flow Replicator, which then observes for data traveling to certain UDP ports and forwards them out to new destinations. So now we're jumping into the Flow Replicator configuration itself. In this list, we see various sources of UDP data, the appropriate UDP destination port that it's currently being sent on, and the new destinations that this traffic will travel to, as well as a new UDP port if necessary, like we see down here in this rule where we're taking all SNMP trap data coming into the Flow Replicator and redirecting that to 10.203.1.140, but with a new UDP port as its destination. Note also that you can associate these rule notes for identification purposes later, so that if there comes a time when you want to remove these rules, it's easy to identify who they belong to. Now we'll take a look at the status page of the Flow Replicator as well. Here we can see all of the sources of exported data, what port number they're forwarding us the data on, the last minute packet per second count so we see approximately how fast they're sending the data to us, and the total packets that they've sent us today. Uh, down toward the bottom we can see the outbound traffic, so this is the information that we're sending out to its new destinations. We see where it's going to, what port number it's being tagged on, again we see packet per second counts as well as how many packets have been forwarded to that destination today. Now we've seen how the Flow Replicator can provide a simple yet meaningful reduction in UDP data traversing the network by sending the data to a single centralized point and fanning that information out to all needed resources. Thank you very much for your interest today. Please contact us for more information about the Landcope StealthWatch product line.